Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. How are we all doing? It is a new dawn, it is a new day, so a massive hello to all of your faces. Guys, we are going to start this off with some unboxing and hashtag this is not sponsored. This is things that I generally, generally needed to get and wanted. Wait, they're two different things. It's things that I wanted. Yeah, it's things that I wanted. But they're also going to improve the uh, paranormal investigation videos. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? All right, first one, guys. This one actually turned up on Friday. Um, when I bought it, it said it wasn't actually going to arrive until Monday or Tuesday. So, I am super happy that this one came really early. Um, we didn't test it out on the previous paranormal investigation just because, yeah, we had a lot of activity just from the K2 meter. So... The, the, these still need to be tested yet we have seen them um, it is a free pack so I am actually really happy about that it's, they, they're called trigger objects um, it's basically all they are basically they're cat toys pretty much essentially so little button on the top you turn it on um, it does flash for a little while just because you've actually just switched it on then it should stop and the point of it is once you've turned it on, you've left it and it's stopped flashing. Um, a trigger object basically is, is an object that a spirit or demon poltergeist, guys, whatever is around at that time, they can touch it and should light back up. These are going to be amazing. The other item that I bought is going to go in connection with these. Um, as you guys know, I, I'll turn that off, that's getting a little bit annoying at the moment. As you guys know, I did buy a video camera. Um, I have gone and bought something else for it, which is the other item that's turned up. Now, this one was meant to turn up on Friday, but it turned up on Saturday. So, let's get in and have a look at this one, shall we? And it's just started raining, guys. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I love the rain. You guys know I love the rain. So uh, yeah, let's, let's let's get straight back into that, shall we? All right, so here it is, guys. This is what turned up um, on Saturday. Like I said, it was meant to turn up on Friday, but I'm happy because it, now it means the next investigations, we can now... I'll, I'll, I'm going to show you just before I ramble on any more with it. So, again... I, I'm glad that it's turned up so we can use it on the next one. And yes, there we go, guys. It is quite a tall standing tripod stand from what I understand. Comes with a carry case. And, uh, oh, what was that? Oh, yes, it's got a phone attachment for it as well. But I'm not using it for the phone because I've got my own one for the phone. As you guys know, I use it at the moment when doing the paranormal investigations. There's a big long hand, uh, long stick that turns into a tripod with a light attached to it as well. So uh, this I actually purchased, purchased, can't even speak now, I purchased this for the camera. And well that's actually a lot better than what I was anticipating to be fair guys, I'm not going to lie. That is awesome. Oh no. Go on Dills, you can do this, you can do this. You can do it. Come on. Oh, those are. Come on. You, you're good at this stuff. You work in engineering. Come on. Like a glove. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, uh, yeah, this is. Um... Okay, so. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, that's not so much awesome. That's awesome. Dills, come on. Bear with me, guys. Those are having technical difficulties. No! <laughs> there we go. That is sorted. I believe. Right, so... As you guys can see, it is a full standing. Oh my god, come on, extend. Holy shit, that is massive. 
Don't say it, guys. Do not say it. Jeez. Okay, so this is... <laughs> okay, I'm a lot happier now because I was not expecting it to be um, this big. Again, don't say it. <laughs> okay, okay, that is a win. That is an absolute win. Right, where are you? There you are. As we were saying, guys, this I actually did buy for the camera. So, oh, come on. Those are... Sort your life out, mate. Right, let's leave that there. Uh, <laughs> bear with me, guys. Okay, that is awesome. There we go. It is a full tripod stand for the camera. This is, you know, I only paid £7.80 for it, guys. Um, it does actually, I can move it. I can tilt it and adjust it. So we're going to say if, because ideally, when I do this sort of thing, I want it so it's, um, facing down towards down towards like a k2 meter or something um i am going to be getting rid of this mic i have bought something else for it and it is actually a ir light so it comes with two different uh warm like it got a warm and a cool setting for it but yes this is going to be an absolute game changer so there we go guys there's there's the tall stand that is actually incredible i love that it was literally like seven seventy nine, and I believe I had free postage on it. It's the what I love is like, like I said, it like it it does tilt, it does turn, it does everything that <laughs> that we need it to, you know. So I can't say that's any fairer than fair for seven pound eighty, and the fact that it comes with a carry case as well. Oh, those of you are a genius at times, I know. I know. I'm going to try out this camera stand for it. I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to try out the camera stand. Uh, guys, I, I've not put the phone stand on yet, but as I was just messing around with it, I've just noticed something else. It flipping extends from this men's centre pole as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh that oh you sir who i got this from on ebay you are a top man you are a top man that is incredible i would definitely say that is the best seven pound 80 i've ever spent on a tripod ever that is amazing it has got a spirit level on there as well so if you wanted to make sure that your camera is absolutely level it actually got a spirit level on that <laughs> There we go, guys. I'm actually using that stand. That is absolutely incredible. I think my phone's just a little bit too heavy for it, though, because I do feel like it is going to topple over at any moment. But that tall standing stand, this thing. Hold on. See if we can get a shot in with it. Is it now? Right, let's put that there. <laughs> there we go, guys. Tall standing stand, £7.80 on eBay. You, sir, whoever came up with that idea for this thing, you are just a genius. Best £7.80 I've ever, ever spent. I know I've already said that, but that's just incredible. Just know, once I get some old cameras, these are going to be purchased a little bit more often as well. Wow, £7.80. Oh, my God, guys, that, honestly greatest thing ever i have got my bdis on some more cameras and these are not just any ordinary cameras these are some 4k ir cameras and there's a couple that are 4k full night vision and then you got some that's got a uh, rim led fill light so that gives another uh, perspective of night vision as well so i am looking at a lot of other cameras I think that one's going to do all right for now for a standard like, static camera. 
So we're just going to use that with the tripod. That's going to be facing on the trigger objects at all times. So in that way, if we wander off to go and do like a like a spirit box somewhere else, there's always going to be a camera there just in case there is still some activity there. So yeah, again, real damn good price that was. And I know, guys, I did buy one. I did buy a stand not so long ago, but that is strictly for my phone. I use it because it's got a nice handle on it. It's got a light as well, so, you know, it's good. I will be using that one in the gym so I can go back and start doing some gym videos for you as well once I've got my head fully focused in there. But quick little update, guys. Those are down to 92.1 kilos now. So that's a grand total loss of... Drum roll, please. 43.1 kilos I have lost since January. Boy, that is a massive amount of weight. Jeez. <laughs> I am still finding things a little bit difficult at time to time, but that's how it goes. You lose a bit of motivation. You end up feeling a little bit down and beat up about yourself, but then somehow or some way, something just goes and it just picks you straight back up again. Don't get discouraged by it, guys. For anyone that's following because they do their weight loss as well, this is the norm. It will happen to you. Motivation doesn't always happen like that. It doesn't always stay around. Motivation comes from discipline. And if you're disciplined, that motivation will follow. Keep yourself disciplined. Keep yourself into a good routine. Keep yourself into eating healthy eating habits, good habits. One thing that I've done that is really healthy and it's changed my mindset is... I could take the lift when I go to the go to the gym to go up and down the car park because I always park at the top floor. I take all the stairs. It's not to say, oh, I'm, I'm doing it for this, this and this. It's a little change in my life. If I do that, then I'm more likely end up making the changes elsewhere. So everywhere that I go, I take the stairs. You get your few extra little lunges in a form of squat. Good for your quads, good for your hamstrings, good for your calves. You know, guys, little things like that, they will improve over time. Make healthy habits and they will follow. The motivation will follow. Be disciplined with yourself and everything will stay in line. That's my little bit of advice to you guys. So when I reposted that video a couple of weeks ago, you know the one where I said, let's talk demotivated. I was feeling very, very demotivated. I had no motivation at all. But I continued going into the gym. I continued doing what I was doing. And now I'm back to right as rain. Friday, me and Ball Jr. went into the gym together. I turned around and said to him, Do you know what? I've There's something I'm not done in two months. And I want to try it again. He wasn't too sure. He looked really confused. Guys, I went back to deadlifting and I have found my love for deadlifting again. First deadlift in two months and I deadlifted 100 kilos. I tried for 120. I got the bar halfway up and I was like, that's a little bit too much. But 100 kilos? Damn. That is damn good going considering I'm not done it for two months. But I have found my passion for deadlifting again. So just know, I am throwing that back in my routines. I felt good after that. Real good. And of course, I've got one day off this week. That is only Saturday. So, what's Dozer up to? i open up packages for you guys. Getting excited over something that cost me £7.80. Those trigger objects as well. They're absolutely incredible. Got three of them, so I can dart them around different places. I'll have one with me, one on the static camera. I think Ball Jr. will end up using one in his videos as well. So that's awesome. Kev is planning on joining us again in the in the future for some more videos. I'm hoping to try and get Giggleberry to come and join us, and maybe we could speak to Fidget Pot see if she'd be up for doing it. I reckon it'll all be pretty good. We get the whole Fearless Nation team from the gaming group over. Get them to come do some paranormal investigations. That'd be amazing. But what else am I doing? I'm cooking food. And a lot of it. <laughs> yes, I do my boat cook still, guys. But like I said, I'm still implementing a part of the keto life. But most of it is just high protein. I still stick to the low carb, low sugar. Just because 
I feel better from not consuming it. it to me, it's a it's a better health benefit for myself because it's easy for me just to slip back out down into eating carbs again, drinking energy drinks, drinking pop. Not good for you, not at all, really. I don't even know why they sell it. Oh, I know why they sell it. Money and the sugar tax, of course. There we go, guys. Food all prepped for all the week. There it is. I was in the slow cooker for nine hours, I believe. And that's going to last me all week, along with other snacks like walnuts. I've got chicken. I've got chorizo. I've got cheese. I've got my shakes as well. It's going to be plenty to keep me fueled up and going. <sighs> Today's just turned out gorgeous. You can see that sun just shining right through. That is, that is nice. I like. I like. Ah. Now it's the complete and utter time to relax. As you see, guys, I've got the computer on, so that means I'm going to be getting up to editing, talking to friends, and playing some games. Oh. You gotta love a Saturday. Gotta love a Saturday. Sunday, I'm back into work, night shifts, so yeah. I am going to be. Feeling it, so that means I gotta stay up extremely late. Get into the night shift routine. But I have got some other things planned. Uh, we had to uh we had to skip the Chosen Hill location after doing the St. Swithens. We turned up and there was actually a ton of cars there late at night. So that was a no-go for us. <laughs> I was not prepared to put myself into a situation where something bad could have happened, so We've had to skip that one out. We will go again. If there is more cars there, I think we may have to just leave that location for a little while. I have got some other places in mind. We have... I have been speaking to uh, Kev. We are looking at going to Shepton Mallet. Now, guys, if you don't know about Shepton Mallet, it is one of the most haunted prisons in the whole of the UK. We are looking at going to Shepton Mallet. We're also looking at going to Gloucester Prison, which ain't too far away from my home as well. We are looking at doing uh, the Ancient Ram Inn. I know that's been done a lot, but for me, that's a place that I've always wanted to go. I've seen a lot of videos on it from the Ouija Brothers. There's been quite a few other channels that's done it as well, and everyone has caught some incredible things. So I definitely, definitely want to be going there. Uh where else? We've even looked at 30 East Drive as well, but you know, that, that place has been, no pun intended, but it's been done to death. Um, there is quite a, quite a lot of locations, but I am looking at some other ones to put in very, very soon for you guys. Like I said, we will return back to the Chosen Hill location. We will try and do a nighttime one. If there's, like I said, if again, if there's still a load of cars there, we're going to have to leave it. I'm not prepared to put myself or anyone else that comes with me to do these investigations in danger. That is not cool. So we, we will try again. And uh, I, I hope this time we can actually go. I, I've been looking forward to that. Because we got some quite a few good things from that. Just from the day sessions. Seriously tired guys. Seriously tired. You can see it. Really tired. I'm also working on a little project for all of you guys as well. Um, once it is done, make sure you check out the description in the videos. Because that's where it's going to be. Once it's done, just, just click it and you'll enjoy it. But it's still a work in progress. It's going to be a little while before that is done. So I will give you guys a heads up when it is done. Oh... I need to go and get myself completely sorted because it is now games with the squad, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like rating, and ding dong that notification bell all the way on. And I shall see you guys all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace up on your journeys. See you soon.